marijuana in a mailbox. And it was in the mailbox. I don't have no authority over no mailbox outside, right? If they found a pound of heroin in that mailbox, they can't come in here and say, there's a pound of heroin in the mailbox out there. But well, we want to search the mustard. Let's say everybody in the world got access to that. That's your dope. Right? And now with people knowing who the feds are and all the stuff, can you imagine? Literally, every case I ever had, because I was never busted correctly. And by the time they want to knock me, I'm above handling it myself. So they would just hand me a case. Well, now I'm handing them all back. It'll be books written on it, it'll be articles written on it, just like we got all those Asaba Kumans. Yeah, I'm going to set time aside to write up legal briefs on each one of the important things. It will be legal briefs on assault on the masjid. It'll be legal briefs on who's cooperating with the FBI and the CIA on phones. Is it possible for the FBI or the Oakland Police Department not to know who I am and I'm getting stopped every time I go into uh, London and sent back and every time I'm, is that possible with the level of cooperation? I, whatever they say, they lose. It's just like yesterday when we went over and the Negroes was over there. It don't make no difference why they were there, but you can make an assessment why they're there. There's a few things that are consistent. You can walk in and you can look and see who's sitting over here, videoing. What's his attitude? Why is he mad at me? Why? Then the other people. Why are they acting and saying what they said? Why are they there? Why is there no advertisement or nothing? Because one reason, we can take 40 or 50 reasons, but one reason is maybe they have to introduce certain people to their, to their crew. There's a no crew, what they look like, what they talk like. That's why when we're outside, we talk to one guy for a hot minute, he goes right back in. Somebody else comes back out. Somebody else goes back. Somebody come. So they met five or six people. The little so-called black revolutionary, right? When I said, well, everybody spoke on that. Why are you in spirit? I said, because everybody speaks on that. It's clear Negroes. He didn't have to say, I just spoke. The other guy, the, the dummy type, the, the, the other Negro, remember? The other Negro, well, that's everybody but you, see, you was such and such and such. So he's going to clean up for him. Why well, clean up for him? Because they're on the same team. It's so stupid and simple. It's so simple, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. So we took a few CDs over that we want to take. I got, still got tons of CDs to take over. You know, one. DVDs, but we said, well, we're going to make some new CDs because we got the, the, the box, the envelopes, that's right downstairs. It ain't there now. It ain't there yesterday. It ain't there the day before. Three to five days ago it was there, sitting right in the face till I mentioned it was downstairs. What does that mean? That we make sure that people stay up to date on foolishness. But here's the thing. Uh, maybe they need to uh, get their people familiar. Okay. The other thing is with the personalities. Uh, because remember, all of those are new people. The only senior citizens there is they the person they and our dear friend. Okay. Now, what's their policy going to be? What is their policy? 
They can accept, not surrender, but compromise. Let's make the world a better place. They could do that. But did they do it? No. You can tell when they come out with Negroes are dissatisfied, da, 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 da. that's to build up something. Then, what is the newspaper? Probably they put that there. This is remannerizing things. Remember when they, when they think that the black people are listening? They bring manna in to do what? Divert people away. Did manna do anything? Yes, it diverted people away from movement. All in the name of black. All right, now we're getting ready to go along again. Remember, encirclement and suppression the same. That continues <clears throat> until you can confront them physically. So we, again, will use this go-around as a super teaching mechanism. Because they only have one or two things they can do. Number one, they could say, well, we're going to repent. And you can be the great redeemer and, you know, that, 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 stuff like that. They didn't do that. So what's the other option? They could remain neutral. Well, it's kind of rare. Or they could have another level of encirclement and suppression. So what would they do? Why would they have an instant program down there in Tugaluga, Booga, Alabama, wherever it is down there, Florida, whatever. Yeah. Mississippi. Yes, Mississippi. Why they won't be in Mississippi? In fact, the program finishes up today. I said, I ain't going there. So they popped that one up. Ooh, just like that. Probably the same day I said, I ain't going down there. Why do they have all them people come from California? And, uh, the, what type of programs do that? All these programs. Just like the. What's the program out there? What they got on CCMO? CCMO. People come from all over the country, right? <coughs> and here, they got free tickets. They got everything. They got free hotels. Right? For who? For each other? Or for us? Why are they sending the invitation one out of every 10,000 into them? It was the same one they tried in California. 2007. It didn't work. I'm telling you, they are so consistent, it is hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay, we'll move the water close. So when we go to California, we're going to, we're in a stage right now of uh, activating this masjid on a higher level, activating California on a higher level. We'll roll with that a while. But within a year or two's time, those will be the center of information and teaching and education. Education on what? Islamic movement. How? Remember, we're already at the second go-round of how-to. The reason this stuff is so noted so well, all of these have dates on them. Then they're copied at least three times and shuffled around. Because they might just happen to want to steal this, which they do, just like they steal, what's the name? They might want to steal this. Go ahead. Don't make no difference. You got to steal all three of them at the same time. You know what I mean? And you can't do that. And if you do it, it makes no difference. Why? Because all that period we have these right here. And we make 20, 30 copies of each one of those and spread them around somewhere, right? <laughs> right? So, I don't have to have this 
all I gotta do is get that. And I remember what I was talking about on uh, whatever the day is. First, today is actually the first of September. October. That's first of October. I was all gone. Getting close to the Mexican Revolution, 16th of October, and the Russian Revolution back in October. Anyway, a great month. So, let's see here. So we've star tracked them already. We've star tracked them already. Now we're going to triple star track them. Because see, they're out of their area of expertise. They don't know nothing about what they're going to do. They didn't know what they was doing the last time. How they gonna know anything about the next days? But we you have to keep pushing them and pushing them because you have to keep educating the people. Why? The global transition is happening right in front of our face. Anybody that can't see that. So we're already important. I don't know how many people five or ten and download these and making three or four hundred CDs and what have you. But everybody knows who we are and what we're talking about. Everybody knows. You can see it on their face. They're not out oh, I don't know. You guys are I've never heard of that. Oh, this is you, of course it's me. Let me see your little Folder, I bet you you got a picture, you know, where you got a, they get over that folder whose picture's at. Da 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 da, you know. <laughs> Name, age, you know, fingerprints, everything. I said, I know y'all got, you know, how y'all operate. So, dear believers, this is the second to the last program I may leave. Uh, I'm just going to do a little work cut. Going on. I technically don't wait to pay bills, but I'll let you go no later than Wednesday. And I may go so I get there on Saturday or something, so I won't have to be there on the first Friday. But I get around, look around, and, you know. And, uh, but uh, as I said, I want everybody to remember the reason I came back was because the government had made it available for me to knock Brother Mukhtar over. Mukhtar knows himself in 2007 that the government made it available because we discussed it to knock Abdul Malik over after he slipped. Remember, this is TV CIAism. If you make a, a mistake, or well, whoever hires you, the gangster, the president, or anybody, to kill someone, and you kill them, who's next on the menu? You are. You're the only link between any of that. Now, Mukhtar, Khadija, Abdul Malik, all the leaders that was up next to Abdul Malik, all the leaders that was pretending to be Where's all of our people in L.A.? We had two joints in L.A. Why haven't nobody called poor E. Bambusa? They all have bad to me. Why hasn't nobody called on the phone? To even ask, what's going on up there, E. Bambusa? Why everybody called the other side? Maybe that was a team they were on from the very beginning. And of course, we knew that. Just like we got them down on this one, we're going to harass them and make a lot of fun, have a lot of fun with them on this. We had fun last time, last encirclement of suppression. This is counter encirclement, but counter re encirclement. See, first is you encircle and suppress. Then, after that, you 
that is a counter-encirclement. Where you encircle the encirclers, that's what we call it. The ones that are surrounding you, you got them surrounded. Who got them surrounded? The whole world. Because you're telling everybody every week. Now, if these haven't been going out properly, it don't make no difference because the next several years, I already got enough duplicate of them to get them all around by myself. Not by myself. Not this time. No leaderless resistance. This one is so beautiful because we're going to break down the door of that broken down record of no leaderless resistance. You can't have a leader in the resistance movement in America. We don't bust that down. We didn't have way busting it down already. But, boss man, we're going to develop leadership. You're going to know who they are, where they live, and what they do. That's what we're going to do. Why? Because that's what's needed. That it's not possible, that's exactly the thing that we do. That's why God has kept us alive and everybody else, hey man, I don't know how happy y'all are, but I can remember them cotton patches down in Arkansas. I can remember them bayous. I can remember the, just about the disappearing act the young people my age are doing in Oakland. And I didn't even know. We thought, well, we just go to jail all the time. I didn't know the whole system organized. They told us, but who believe anything? Eight, nine, 10, 15. You don't believe nothing. There's a system organized. And the police, I remember, has something one time, maybe I was 10. We know more about you than you know about yourself. That's how arrogant they are. Then when you're around 15, uh, and then institutions, since you don't cooperate in rings, you will never be nothing. And they would tell people stuff. That's the officials of the whole system. You know why they can tell you that? With authority, because they got a whole system and it's you. And they say, you are target, you are unruly, you are uncooperative nigga. You are not going to be nothing because all of us say so. Right? That's the greatest motivator I ever had in my life. I drove down to Francis Nello School for boys. I couldn't find the police that said it. They pulled up one of the big Cadillacs. But I did get to one of the nice ones, Frico Ranch School for Boys. Now I was there in 57, 58. I might have left in 59. They kept the brother out. But guess what? It was a whole, when I went there, it was a young man who worked in the we go around school for boys as you, you know, dormitories, hiking, fishing. It's like uh, it's a big summer camp, except it's in the mountains of uh, Calaveras County. It's in the Mother Loom country where they discovered gold in California. It's nice. Isn't that? It's a, a year long jail summer camp, but you don't feel like you're in jail. Well, you do. But anyway, Dan Fisher was one of the good, uh, it wasn't an officer, counselor. And uh, so I used to go riding a lot. So about 67, I had a brand new Cadillac. So I had uh, my future wife who was riding. I said, should we ride? It was just a couple hours. Right up the freak of wire, right rolled up there, pulled right in the front of the office, and was walking up. And uh, Mr. Fisher said, because he, he would handle the disciplinary kids, he said, if that was 10 years ago, that guy would have been you. And he looked at what I was driving, he was glad. The only one who's glad. Who's, you know, one of them made it through. These kids haven't got a chance. You know what I mean? 
or whether they're white or black, they know that their system breaks and molds people. We don't like that. We want to make a better world. Not utopia, they utopia, but what we would consider a good place. Not fairyland. We'll get there in heaven, but on earth, yeah, utopia, the real meaning, a good place. That's, so that's what we're doing this time. The last thing I want to say, I said it three or four times personally, so y'all can get it and not worry about it and not lose no sleep. I don't care what the dumb system do. I have never even considered not doing what I do. I have never even considered uh, uh, I need to pray. You can forget that. This is what I do. And guess what? Just so you feel all right. What I meant to tell y'all the other day in Juma was this. Not only once you visualize it and dream about it and see it, you ain't accepting nothing else. You ain't got nothing. You got some for everybody else. They want a job, they want a car, they want something. I don't want that. That ain't nothing. It's something for you. It's something for your Negroes and your coons and the job security, all that stuff. I don't believe in job security. The more secure I feel, the more uncomfortable I get. I thrive on insecurity. That's why. If somebody say, uh, the only place you can get that is South America. Why? I just go to a mountain so, uh, and so, I said, oh yeah, South America. I remember fourth grade, uh, social studies they used to call it. Yeah, the guy with a donkey. And I remember, oh yeah, Juan Valdez, the coffee man in Colombia. I know where that's at. Hey, where do you go? Where do I get a ride down there? What do you do? You find out what to do. You see what I mean? You experiment. You don't have to know. That's what you've done to your people. You've taken the desire to live, uh, adventure. Don't nobody want no adventure anymore. They want a duck on a, a medical card or something. Nobody wants adventure. Security. They want security. They want security over adventure. Do you think when you dying, look, I'm gonna tell y'all something so you your eyes never go back in your head when you hear a song because you have never lived and you don't ever think. It, you think about it different. You think about it, this girl who's holding her hand. It ain't nothing. When you get old enough and you hear something and it reminds you, I stood up to the white man each time, every time. And I ain't never blinked my eyes. I don't care how many billy clubs he had. I never even considered it. You want that? You want to feel good? You live something like that. And every time you hear something that reminds you of it, right? And you see them do something to somebody that that, that, that they treated unfair. See, they treat niggas unfair. Now we're gonna straighten you up, uh, Mr. Euro, and all your coons too. Not physically. We're gonna tease you to the right road. Yes, we are. You can might as well start doing right now. We're going to whoop you so bad, people going to laugh you. You know, one of the best correct is get everybody laughing at you. That humiliates you. Don't humiliate me. The greatest worker for me is for you to start laughing. That nigga is broke. He ain't got no money. Well, what is that going to be? 